good morning. So I think this is video number 12. I think it's 12. Um, the last couple of appointments for medical clearance. Um, I am actually on my way to my primary care doctor's office uh, for his clearance. And then I just have the final leg of the cardiac clearance, which is my stress test. Um, you know, it's, it's really starting to become real. Um, I'm very anxious and I'm hoping, don't mind me, my allergies are through the roof. Um, so I'm going to be twitching a lot and scratching my nose probably. Um, anxiety is high. Anticipation is high. Fear is high. Um, you know, it's, it's becoming real at the end of the day. It is a surgical procedure. Um, am I nervous about surgery? Of course I am. I'm nervous about any surgery I have. Um, of course, but I know it's going to be okay. Um, still making the changes, um, you know, pushing forward with movement, pushing forward with better eating habits, um, ensuring I'm getting all of my water. I drink about just about 70 ounces of water a day. Um, I have it down to a science at work and then I just try to continue that, you know, on my weekends. Um, what else? What else? I'm not a morning person. Um, so my surgery, as I said on the last vlog, uh, snafu in the plans, um, it's been bumped up. I'm concerned that I'm jumping through all these hoops on a faster level to try to ensure my surgery date. And it's, it's nerve wracking. It's nerve wracking because at the end of the day, the insurance company can turn around and say, nope, we're not approving her. And I think that's where my fear is coming in. Um, so yeah, insurance, <laughs> gotta love insurance. We need them. We need them on our side, but to get them on our side, they make us really, you know, go through the ringer with everything. So that's where my fear lies. Um, am I scared of the procedure? <laughs> I'm scared of waking up in the middle of the procedure. <laughs> that makes me nervous, but I mean, that's, I think anybody's fear. Um, no, I'm not afraid of the procedure. Do I know it's going to be hard? I think it's going to be a lot harder than maybe even I realize. Um, however, I took my cesarean section in stride and they said on average, most people don't get up until four to six hours after their surgery. I was up in like an hour and a half, two hours because I was like, yeah, no, you need me to walk. I'm walking. Um, so I'm not worried about that. Um, what I am worried about so I'm going to be straight up and honest. I'm a stomach sleeper. <laughs> I sleep amazingly on my stomach. I always get a full night's rest and I feel good. When I don't sleep on my stomach, I'm a crank. Um, so that therein lies my concern is I'm a stomach sleeper. Um, and I'm hoping that I will be comfortable enough that I can sleep on my stomach um, because I know if I sleep well the healing will go better because I sleep very heavy like I go into that really deep sleep so that is my concern I'm not worried about scars I gave my body enough scars with stretch marks and and uh, <coughs> blue saggy skin so I'm not worried about scarring. It is what it is. It's a choice that I am making. Um, I 
mean, I'll be doing the vitamin E and the cocoa butter and all that to try to help everything uh, to keep the scars at bay. Um, yeah, just I'm worried about that first week of not being able to sleep well. And then I think after that, I think I'm just going to be on the up and up. Um, I'm going to Sam's Club to get uh, my uh, unsweetened almond milk. They, they're running a promotion right now, and I'm going to be dominantly on liquids. So that is kind of really important that I get. And uh, what else? Yeah, so I'm starting to do what I need to do, getting everything that I need. Um, I will be picking up a lot of cottage cheese, a lot of different broths for soups, chicken broth, beef broth. Um, I already have my protein powder. I have to get my chewable pills and my lemons for my lemon water and the ball is rolling. And uh, just praying that the insurance doesn't, I don't hit a snag with the insurance because that's the only thing that's going to be holding me back. Um, and if that's the case, then if that's the case, then this is probably going to be prolonged about a year. And that would be disappointing to have to wait another year. I mean, I'm still going to be working the program, don't get me wrong. But it'll be disappointing, so it is what it is. All right, so anyway, I'm driving to my doctor's appointment. Peace. Have a good day.